Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Java with Ali and I am Ali and today we are moving on to a new topic. If you like the channel, please like, share and subscribe and I'll continue to make more. <laughs> so today we are going to talk about databases. Um, I used to work as a business analyst years and years ago years and years ago and then I worked in other areas where I needed to use databases and we use databases in work anyway for full stack development. So databases are a really important part of development. This is just the introduction stage. I'll keep the video short today. <laughs> so you can see at the moment my SQL. Um, there are different databases. A database is usually, um, well, to officially, the official definition is an organized collection of data <laughs> so a database then there's database management um systems as well dbms and there's a couple of acronyms that we're going to use along the way so dbms then provides mechanisms to store to organize to retrieve and to modify for many different users um you can have also a server-based um, database and a client as well so we'll get into that later on but at the moment we just need to know DBMS's database management system and then we have structured query language or SQL a lot of people call it um, and with SQL then there are statements and it's really popular with um, different database systems, database management systems, DBMS, that are used across different organizations. So I have personally worked with um, MS SQL Server, as well as Oracle, and now we're working in my current position, uh, my SQL. <laughs> so there are other different ones as well. There's um, MongoDB and other different types as well. And then there's a whole different um, part of things. Then there's a, th a concept called relational database <laughs> or relational database depending on your uh, pronunciation of data <laughs> so a relational database is a logical representation of data that allows the data to be accessed without consideration of its physical structure so a relational database stores databases uh, data in data in tables and we're going to have a quick look at this today so um i I had to actually upgrade my operating system to get the latest version. <laughs> so it took me a while to do it, but there's basically we have here um, when you open up MySQL Workbench and there are certain templates that are already built in. So we're just going to have a quick look at some of these and how it's laid out. So bear with me. <laughs> so we have um, a schema here, it's called schema privileges. And then we have a primary key. Um, and if you think of a primary key, you have a table. I'm going to go into a little bit of detail now. You have a table. If you open up Excel, it shows you like rows and columns. So all the tables have rows and columns. Um, in databases, if you're learning databases as an actual full subject at university or in college or in different places, College and university, we use is the same term in Ireland. <laughs> but anyway, if you're if you're using it in in or learning it as a specific thing, they will have different terms for rows and columns, like tuples um, and things like that as well. So they'll go into a lot more detail. For now, we're just going to look at the brief overview um, to get used to this new program that we're using. So here we have our the name of our database. MyDB. Um, it's just the default one that's been added at the moment. There are also EEOR diagrams as well. Um, we'll come to that later on because you need to know the um, when you go, especially when you go to a new company, you can generate one of these uh, diagrams so you can see what tables are calling what and you can kind of get an idea of what's being used. Then you have up here, um, add a new diagram add a new schema, a new table, a new view, and a new routine as well. So schema privileges, this is where we can add users and different things, and then scripts. So if I was to 
open this, then we have different terms that we're using for SQL. <laughs> so the most popular is going to be select. And you can see it immediately goes into this um, color and all is usually a star and then we use from and then the name of the table is <laughs> usually table name um, when we selected the database. That's usually how um, we use queries to uh, query the database. So you have to select it and then you have to state where it's from. Now you can select um, top or different ones. You can select um, top and then put in whatever you can select. Um, I thought you don't have to select all of it. <laughs> you can select different columns as well. And for now, that is all we're going to cover today because we're going to go into the, the actual uh, program in Eclipse afterwards and once we get into that, we have to use some of the um, strings that are going to be input into the select statement as well. And once we use the select statement, we're going to access the database and connect it. So we have to have our um, JDBC <laughs> connection as well with Java. So that's it for today. It's very, very light. Focus on downloading the program and getting um, familiar with it's your homework familiar with SQL, where it's used, and different statements like select. So we have create table, create is another one. Create is another keyword. And update is also another keyword that we're going to use. And obviously delete as well, but we want to stay away from delete and that depends on your user privileges for your schema. <laughs> So this is MySQL. There are also other different types that you can download um, like Oracle and um, MSSQL as well as a client. You don't have to download the entire server. <laughs> so there are different types so that you can download and you can get familiar with it. For now, that is it. We have a good bit to cover in this topic as well. So stay safe and we will come back to you in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.